Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to round three of the water comparison video series. Today I'm comparing these two bottles of water. First up, we have Trader Joe's Pure New Zealand Artisan Water. This is in a one-gallon container. It's a lot of water. Next up is the Blue. This is from a Sure Save IGA store. And this is Vapor Compression Distilled Water from North Carolina. And so, each of these has already beaten six other bottles of water. And I've already said a lot of stuff about these in the previous videos. So this is mainly just a comparison to see which one makes it to round four. Uh, so let's just open them up and just start tasting them right away. If you want more info, go back to the previous videos. This New Zealand water has a nice big lid. And it also has a handle. Makes it easier for carrying like home from Trader Joe's. The really big lid. It's a very good water. Um, both of these are going to be good. Like any water that makes it to round three is going to be have something good about it. This is a vapor distilled water. very pure. It's pure H2O. They say this is pharmaceutical grade water and they say there's no expiration date on the bottle because it's such pure water. Like there's nothing in it that can expire. It's just H2O. They say there's no chlorine, no lead. It's kosher certified and they say there's no fluoride in it. There's just nothing but water. Normally, I don't like distilled waters. Normally, they make me feel like throwing up, kind of. Uh, but I think that might have something to do with the bottle. Here is a really cheap distilled water. I'm just going to take a taste test really quick. And just see what this tastes like. Yeah, that's not good. Like this one, this one leaves an aftertaste in your mouth. And, and a taste when it touches your tongue to begin with. They say this is distilled. They say there's nothing in this water. Then why does it taste so much different than this one? I'm assuming it has to do with just the cheaper plastic for this bottle. So, that's just a, a bottle I already reviewed. I saw a YouTube video where someone, like line up a bunch of bottles of water and they put electricity through the water and all the other bottles of water electricity went through it because water is actually not conductive for electricity it's the minerals in the water that conducts electricity and when he put electricity through the blue it did not conduct because it's just pure water it was just an interesting little youtube video i saw Yeah, these um, are both getting a thumbs up, that's for sure. I think I don't like about the Trader Joe's water is it has 9 milligrams of sodium. It also has 16 servings. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what the math is, but 16 times 9 milligrams, that's how much sodium is in this bottle. And this is artisan water. This comes from an ancient aquifer and the water comes from 600 feet below the surface. I think that's pretty cool. Starkey spring water which is currently in the lead also comes from deep below the earth and uh, I think there's something to that it makes just the water taste a little better. Just like, I don't know, heavier or something. Just um, it's like more, more of a wet water. And a bad thing about this water, I saw this video on YouTube where it's a guy like in a parking lot and it, he's pointing the camera at the bottle 
and there's like something floating around inside of the bottle. It looks like, I don't know, like a stick, like a, it's like a one inch little thing inside the water. And it's just gross because it's an unopened bottle of water and there's something floating around inside. There's obviously nothing inside of this one. <laughs> and it's obviously like a rare thing to happen, but that's kind of gross. Like this company is always talking about how pure their water is. Why is there something like in the bottle floating around? Yeah. I haven't drank in any of these bottles since October. Been busy with all my other reviews. This is water from North Carolina. It's kind of interesting. This is the first distilled water to make it to round three. And the first North Carolina water. Norway is, has pretty good water. Okay. I'm not going to finish this. This is a whole gallon. You know, it's too much water to finish at once. But I think I know which, which one is the winner. I think the winner is the blue. <laughs> what it comes down to is just the taste. That's all there is to it. Going back and forth. I'm just preferring the blue right now. Maybe it's just my personal preference. You know? But right now, it tastes a little bit better. This is kosher-free water. I don't even know what that means, but it's kosher-free. It's kind of weird that they uh, misspell the, the blue. Or maybe it's, I guess it's la blue, so it's probably a different language. Like French or something. But it's from South Carolina, so why is it a different language? Anyway, uh, la blue is moving on to the next round. It just tastes really pure. And... I like Trader Joe's. I, as a store itself, I like Trader Joe's. They have a lot of good stuff. I was actually kind of assuming that Trader Joe's would move on to the next round. So I bought another one of these. But Trader Joe's is out. So now I've got all this water to drink. Anyway, congratulations, Old Blue.